Hey guys, this is Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken. I'm going to be making these tags today, or some similar. And um, I just found some fabric in my stash. I don't know where it came from. So I have just folded it. I um, cut some tags out. This is the 65 pound recollection card stock from Michael's that was two dollars a pack over the weekend and uh, I've just cut a whole bunch of them and made tags out of the paper and um, so I'm gonna take this fabric and um, make these cute little tags with it so first of all I'm just going to just um, cut some fabric off of this piece and I will be back. I was just kind of trying to determine how much I needed. Um, I could take this to my cutting board and square the edge up and cut it, but I'm not going to do all that. This doesn't have to be precise. This is for a junk journal and um, I'm just going to take my scissors and cut some of this. This will be more than enough for the project that I'm doing. And since this isn't even, I'm just going to come over a little bit and cut. I should have folded it again, but this is all good. Anyway. I was just uh, packing stuff, unpacking stuff and uh, putting it away and so um, I was making piles of uh, see this is my card stock and I just cut little tags I just took this um, package of uh, 65 pound paper there's like 50 of these in here and um, I just uh, cut them down and made tags so anyway here is one of them that I made here and I just used some of this coffee dyed paper and um, I glued it down to the tag so you could do some journaling or write on it. I made a little ribbon out of a scrap. This is the back and I did some um, a really cute vine stitch on here. I may or may not do more to this tag but this is just a start and here is just a simple tag where I have this fabric on one side and then some purple fabric that I found with it. They were a setting side by side, so they must have been for some type of project and it has a little leaf print all the way around it. Anyway, it's super cute. And then I have this one here. It has this fabric here and um, this is a journaling card this is some of that purple fabric that I made a ribbon out of and this is some more of that ledger paper that I made a paper ribbon out of this is a journaling card that I cut down the size this is the same card and it just slips in here like this and um, I'm right-handed <laughs> so yeah I did a zigzag stitch around the edge. This color of fabric is like, I mean, thread is the same as this flower. This is the back. This is purple. I used a pink thread with a zigzag stitch. Anyway, this is the salvage of the fabric. I just thought it was cute, and I thought I would add a little extra layer of texture. It's from this fabric here. Anyway... And um, so, yeah, I have all of these um, bobbins that I can use. Came in a package like this. They were all sealed. I just opened them today. Um, yeah, that's just one of those things that I found at um, a salvage or junkyard Goodwill someplace. It had never been opened. I just opened it today. And um, so, yeah, that's that pink that I have here on the bottom. I used a pink spool of that. Anyway, so um, basically all I did was um, decided how much fabric I needed. And um, I was just 
doing it really simply. Then I just cut this. Well, it's not working very well, and I'm not even in the camera. Okay. Anyway, so I got a piece that would fit on this, and then I glued it. And this fabric is so light, you can't really tell which is the top and which is the bottom. It's insane. So I'm going to assume this is the other side of the fabric. You never say it's the wrong side. This is the more colorful side, and this is the other side. Fabric is never wrong. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I'm just going to... Um, this is the other side that I'm going to glue. I'm going to take my fabric tack and um, put a little uh, glue on here, just enough to um, make it stick while I'm sewing it. You don't really even need to do it. I just don't want to put pinholes in it. I'm going to take the fabric and lay it on top of my tag. Uh, because this fabric is really thin, it will seep through the fabric, or it can seep through the fabric, and I didn't want to get my uh, tablecloth gluey. <laughs> anyway, and then I'll just take some scissors and cut around that. You could have put the salvage at one or either end and made a little texture out of that as well. Just going to cut around here. You can use your cutting mat and rotary cutter if you think you need to be perfect. I don't. And, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut a bunch of this fabric out and glue it down and I will be right back. And there's there's what the first step looks like and you don't have to put fabric on both sides as a matter of fact you could use colored cardstock I mean uh, patterned cardstock on one side and the fabric on the other or two fabrics either way you could even use um, some type of coffee dyed or uh, paper like this Anyway, let's put my glue, my lid back on my fabric tack. I'm going to go ahead and glue some more of the fabrics down to these cardstocks, and I shall be back. Anyway, I just cut a whole bunch of um, pieces of fabric, and um, just going to put some glue. Here's the fabric pieces I cut out to try to figure out which side is which. Just doing an assembly line. And uh, the glue seems awful sticky today. Thick or whatever. Even though I think it's kind of warm, it's winter time now, so It is cooler, even though it's pretty warm. The last time I checked the temperature, it was 77. And uh, you can take your bone folder and do the deal. You don't have to put as much glue on there. I'm just gotten a little carried away. Anyway, you might want to put a little in the middle so that the fabric stays down to the tag if you want to put elements on top that way they don't sag or lean or whatever anyway definitely going to have lots of this fabric left over I think I cut eight, six, 
six or eight of these out while I was gone. And uh, then I will use the scissors and cut around the edges. Apparently, I didn't cut enough of them because I still have two more tags left. I thought I counted them all. Maybe I have two stuck together. I mean, two pieces of fabric. Let me, oh, there's another one. This is my last one. I have one tag left, so I must have cut one few too many fabrics. I'm just trying to put that in the light so I can see which is the right side. Not that there's a wrong side. Okay, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought I cut eight pieces out. Okay, I'm going to cut one more piece out, and um, I'll be back. Okay, I got all of my tags. Um... I got the front uh, done, or I got one side done. Does it, there's not really a front or a back. Anyway, I got one side done. I got all my um, squares cut out to put on the back side, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just uh, do them the same way I did the front. I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac, um, Tombow, Manto. Um, no, this is Beacon. Okay, so... Um, you can also use your Beacon 3-in-1. Um, I like the Fabri-Tac the best. Anyway. And uh, this is thicker fabric, so... Um, this was used to make aprons. Work aprons for a flower shop. So... Anyway, I'm just going to glue that down like that, and um, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. I'm going to cut them out, and then I will be right back, so you don't have to sit here and watch me do it. You uh, could cut these out after you sewed them, but for the ones that I'm going to be doing a quarter-inch seam allowance or a seam allowance with a certain stitch width. I want to um, have my edges where I can line it up with my sewing machine lines. But if you're doing an overall pattern, uh, if meandering, freehanding, whatever, you don't have to cut it out first. But I just thought this would be easier. I got two of them done. I'm going to be sitting here doing this for a while, so I'll be back. And like I said, you don't have to glue them if you don't want to. I'm gluing them myself. I like gluing them. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this down, and then you could iron the fabric as well. I'm not worried about it. These are for my junk journals. And um, this is going to be a little tricky down here. I don't want to cut my ruffle off. Well, I did the blue, I did the purple fabric first last time. So, um, 
And actually, you could do, um, you wouldn't have, you don't have to do a straight cut. You could use your pinking shears and do a serrated, or if you have some um, different types of decorative edge scissors, you could use those. And there's just limitless possibilities. So I got those sides done. Now I need to do this without cutting my ruffle off. But look at there, I didn't even glue it all the way down. That's just a coincidence. So I just want to cut my purple off and leave my frayed edge. Yeah, so, okay. I'm going to keep gluing and I shall be back. I got them all cut out. So um, I got two with these little salvage edges on there. So let's, uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I made this one. And then I guess I'll go ahead and show you how I made this one and this one. So we'll start with the easy one first. Okay, so these are the three tags we um, will be making. I'm going to start with this one first. So let's get started. This one is a very simple tag. I just have a, you can't really see that side, it's a green, bluish green color, but in the top thread is a pink, but it's just a little vine stitch. I believe that is a 27, nope. Okay, so this one is number 54, and I um, already have the fabric on both sides. So I'm just going to put this in here. I could start at the bottom, it doesn't really matter. And um, I've lined um, this up with the edge, the edge of the fabric up with the edge of my foot, so I can just, um, follow that. Anyway, I'm going to do needle down and um, this particular stitch doesn't have a back stitch so I'm just going to start sewing. Hopefully. I don't feel like I got bobbin thread. I hope I have bobbin thread. Bobbin thread moving, so that makes me feel better. Okay. I'm just going to turn it. And I'm just going to go all the way around like this. It's really simple. Cut my thread, and I'm done. And there is your tag. Super simple. You just have to cut your threads off. Anyway, just we could do another one really quick. Anyway, we could even try a different stitch. Let's see, let's try 60. Oh yes, I like 60. Here, let's do 60. Anyway, needle down. I'm just gonna surprise you with this one. I always like quilting with this on oh, real quilts. Excited for this little project. 
I'm going to go ahead and sew all the way around and be back so you don't have to sit here and watch me do it. Okay, laugh out loud. This is the one I did. It's just a little flower. Anyway, I've got to cut the threads. This is the back side. Anyway, so, um, voila. And, um, I guess we could try this one next. So, um, we can do this if you want. Or not, it doesn't really matter. But, um, let's just see. I did, um, this. This is the little leaf. Um, we could try the little flower or something else. Let's see, the flower is 60. There's a duck, a dolphin, cherries, hearts, stars. Okay, yeah, let's just do the little flowers. Okay, we'll do the little flowers. So, um, let's see, let's start here. Feels funny. my thread. <laughs> Check that out. I'm all over the place. Anyway, I was just being silly. Can't really see this side, but yeah. Just having a little fun. Anyway, and then, so let's see, where's that tag at here? So the next thing I did was I just took um, one of these pieces, some of this paper. I measured um, how much I wanted to show on here, and then I cut it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this, and I'll be right back to fit this, to make it look like this. So I'm cutting this one. I think I'm cutting this one a little bigger. This one here goes down to here. This one's a little higher, but I just liked it better. And um, so I'm going to take my fabric tack. I'm going to glue this down, and I will be right back. I don't know if you can see it. I am just gluing it down, rubbing it on there really well. And then to make this ribbon here, I just took some more of this and um, I folded it. I folded it like this. And then I folded it back this away. And then I turned it around and did the same thing. I folded it this way and then folded it this away. So I kind of have three sections. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's for a junk journal. And then I just uh, folded it like this. And then like this. Anyway, uh, once I got it all folded up, I just glued it down. I was going to sew it down, but um, my uh, popping thread broke. I'll go ahead and cut this off. And so... Um, I just glued it down. Okay, I'm going to work on this shape, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so yeah, and then just fiddle around with it to you like where it's at and then you glue it down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fiddle with it a little bit and then I'm going to glue it down and I will be right back. Okay, I guess that's as good as it's going to get. Anyway, I could put a little button on there or anything else, but I have two matching tags now. Or they're close. They're similar. Anyway, this is the backs. I can still do something to the backs. And um, I can still work on the fronts, but this is what I got so far. And um, then we can try this one here. And uh, this one's a little more involved, but it, it's not too bad. So basically what I did is I took my tag and um, I decided that I wanted to put a pocket on it. So I just took one of these um, cards and centered it, put it on here where I wanted it, like that, and then I turned it over and um, cut the excess off. And then I did the same thing to the other side, cut the extra off. And then I uh, glued the edges just a little bit, just so it would stay down till I got it sewed. I put it where I wanted it. And then I put it in the sewing machine and did a zigzag stitch all the way around it. So um, I want the green thread on the bottom. So I'm going to flip it over and we're going to do a, a zigzag stitch. That's what I did on this one. I'm going to start in the center. Anyway, my thread is trying to come out. Let me put you back up here see what I'm doing. My thread's trying to come out, so I'm going to put it back here. I'm going to center this. I can't really remember what, oh yeah, zigzag's just regular, so let's put it on the first one. Uh, put it on zigzag, needle down, and it's just base. it's real simple, just... So around the tag. entire thing just to give it a little more interest okay and then I'm going to do a back stitch I got a little crooked but that's okay and then I'm just going to cut my thread. So, voila. I just didn't want the green on the other side. 
Anyway, this is a uh, part of it. And then I um, took this tag and um, decided how big it needed to be to fit inside of here. And then I just took my scissors and I cut it. I can't really remember how much I cut off, but let's just cut this first line off. Let's see if that fits. Yeah, that fits fine. And then I uh, went ahead and cut the bottom off. You don't really have to, but I decided that I thought it stuck up too high. So I just went ahead and cut some off the bottom. And um, stuck it in there like that. Voila. And then I took some of this purple fabric. I cut it with my pink and shears. And then I uh, just uh, squunched it up and um, let's uh, forward, needle down, and then I just squunched it up as I sewed. And I've left the zigzag stitch on there. And then I had my little thing. And then I just, uh, oh, this one's much bigger. <laughs> that one's super tiny. Okay. Yeah, let's make it a little smaller. That's okay. It's just I had that scrap left over. That's why I decided to do it. I'm just going to take my scissors and uh, cut this. These are my pink and shears. I don't know how well this will do. I've never done this before. Once it was already sewed. I didn't realize it was so chunky though. Okay, that's much better. Of course, you know, they don't have to be the same. You want them to be unique. And um, this has pink thread on one side and green on the other. I just thought the green looked better, but then I ended up covering it up with the um, little strip there. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue that down. Just get some of my Beacon Fabri-Tac and uh, glue it down. And then I um, guess I'll take a strip of this. You can use any size um, you want. Get this one, it's longer. Cut it thinner. And then I just, um, you know, folded it up like all the other little pieces. And uh, I actually have a foot that goes on my sewing machine called a gathering foot that will actually do this for you. It gathers it up and creases it and sews it down. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so... I'm just going to glue that down and I'll be right back. Okay, there it is. It's a little bigger than this one, but that's okay. They need to be unique. Anyway, that is my last tag. I've duplicated all three tags now. And um, this is the back. This is the front. It has the little frizzies at the bottom. You can just... You could just technically do a line at the bottom and I wouldn't have to go all the way around the tag. And um well, these stars are cute. I'm going to put 
that you'll unpause, go all the way around, and I'll be right back. Okay, the stars are cute, but I can see you need to spend a lot more time on them. And be precise. Got some threads to cut. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I really do like these. These, But I really like these, too. I can't tell you which ones are my favorite. And, of course, I like the simple ones as well. Anyway, these are really good for writing on. And then you have your tag in here that you can write on. So I am going to leave it here. This is Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken. Sending all my love and my hugs. I hope you like this little sew with me. And um, I will see you next time. Sending all my love and my hugs. Please comment, like, and subscribe.